Hello Spider-Man fans welcome here. Emma Stone last portrayed Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and she has made remarks on the possibility of her playing the character again, whether or not it occurs in the MCU. As Gwen Stacy in two Spider-Man films, Stone gave an emotive, captivating, and humorous performance that may yet go down as the best live-action Spider-Man leading lady. Stone hasn't taken on the role of Gwen since her untimely demise in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Stone's Gwen may make a cameo soon as well, because Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker from The Amazing Spider-Man trilogy will be appearing in an MCU movie. After the cancellation of The Amazing Spider-Man 3, it appeared that Garfield's role as Peter Parker was coming to an end. The MCU Spider-Man No Way Home saw Garfield return to rapturous ovation seven years after his previous standalone film as The Wallcrawler. Fans have urged Garfield to return for more Marvel films after his 2021 Spider-Man cameo received overwhelming praise. This has led to calls for a reunion between him and Stone as Peter and Gwen from the Amazing Spider-Man franchise are through a multiverse story, which is almost here already. It has been speculated for months that Spider-Man No Way Home will feature supporting cast members from previous Spider-Man film series, however this was untrue. The MCU saw the return of antagonists from both series, including Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin and Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, to battle the Spider-Man 3 alongside Spider-Man actors Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. J.K. Simmons' J. Jonah Jameson was the only supporting character from one of the two franchises to make a semi-return. However, the actor played Jonah from the MCU rather than the JJJ from the Maguire films. That does not imply, however, that plans for other significant comebacks, such as Stones as Gwen Stacy, were never considered for the multiverse movie. Following the film's premiere, Spider-Man No Way Home was thought to have revisited supporting cast members from Maguire and Garfield's Spider-Man films, according to the book MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios. Early drafts of the script for Tom Holland's third Spider-Man film featured Kirsten Dunst's Mary Jane Watson from director Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy, Stone's Gwen Stacy, and Sally Field's Aunt May from the Amazing Spider-Man movies, according to the book about the MCU's behind-the-scenes stories. Certain performers from previous Spider-Man films were rumored to be returning in the MCU Universe event prior to the release of Spider-Man No Way Home. Even though Stone's name was widely circulated at the time due to the speculations, the actress was careful to clarify that she would not be appearing in the film. In a 2021 interview with MTV News, Stone said that I have heard those rumors, refuting the existence of any validity to the reports of her Gwen Stacy comeback. I'm not in the movie, so I'm not sure if I should say anything. She also said that I feel protective of that version of Spider-Man. In the same interview, Stone talked about how much the amazing Spider-Man films meant to her. The actress said she had wonderful experiences making them even though they were challenging. Stone concluded by making a statement that could one day lead to her comeback as Gwen Stacy, saying that it was truly a unique experience for me. Comparably, I feel guarded toward that iteration of Spider-Man. Stone may be able to make a comeback with Garfield because of her intimate relationship to Gwen Stacy and her times though it was never decided to star Gwen Stacy again, her comeback was planned for Spider-Man No Way Home. Stone said, no, is that true? I'm surprised to hear that I was considered for No Way Home. That's something I've never heard of. This is fantastic. I appreciate you informing me. When Entertainment Tonight asked Stone whether she would return for a new Spider-Man film starring Garfield during the film's January promotion, she responded, I don't know, that's so challenging. In The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Gwen Stacy perished as a result of Green Goblin and Spider-Man's battle, which also killed Stone's character. Although the character passed away and Shailene Woodley, the heroine of Divergent, was supposed to play Mary Jane Watson in the Amazing Spider-Man trilogy, this does not preclude Stone from making a comeback for The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Before deciding to reinvent the character with Tom Holland in the MCU, Sony considered a number of other options for how to carry on the Spider-Man franchise with Garfield. Among those suggestions was for Stone's Gwen Stacy to return as Carnage. A wider audience saw Carnage, a lethal symbiote typically attached to serial murderer Cletus Cassidy, in Venom Let There Be Carnage. However, Gwen was slain by Carnage in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics, and Gwen Stacy was cloned as a result of attempts to resuscitate Carnage after its demise. Gwen was finally bound to Carnage for a while before she was able to break free of it and totally return to herself, this is something that The Amazing Spider-Man 3 could have done. The scene where Stone's Gwen Carnage battles Garfield's Spider-Man would have been quite moving. Ever since he made a surprise appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home, fans have been clamoring for Garfield to play Peter Parker in additional films. 
There are a lot of speculations circulating regarding a potential The Amazing Spider-Man 3, and the actor playing Spider-Man is the only one not to receive a trilogy. It would make sense for Stone's Gwen Stacy to reappear in the franchise through flashbacks as either the Gwen from another reality or as a revived version of herself, Carnage or not. Given the multiverse's role in Garfield's Spider-Man comeback, it's feasible for Stone to play Spider-Woman Gwen Stacy in both live-action and animated films. There are rumors that Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 will include Garfield and Maguire on another multiverse adventure, which may pave the way for Stone's comeback as Gwen. As an alternative, Emma Stone may play a Spider-Gwen version alongside Garfield's Spider-Man in the announced multiverse epic Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse and Avengers Secret Wars. Emma Stone's decision to reprise her role as Gwen Stacy following The Amazing Spider-Man 2 might turn out to be a wise one, but it also has the potential to derail Spider-Man No Way Home. Emma Stone originally portrayed the character in 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man as Gwen Stacy. Director Mark Webb decided that Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker should have a different love interest than Mary Jane Watson since the revived series aims to concentrate on other aspects of Spider-Man than the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy. This resulted in Emma Stone, who is usually amazing, playing Gwen Stacy in the two Amazing Spider-Man films. Haley Steinfeld's voice depiction of Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has contributed to the character's rise in popularity in recent years. Since Andrew Garfield's comeback in Spider-Man No Way Home, there has been a boom in fan art and conjecture that Emma Stone would play Gwen again. Although Stone's comeback would be incredible, there's a chance it may compromise the plot of the third MCU Spider-Man movie. Despite the risk of spoiling the Gwen-related plot of No Way Home, Stone might reprise the role in a number of ways. One is that the Spider-Verse flicks from Sony sufficiently prove that the universe of Spider-People is almost infinite. Live-action Spider-People have been able to cross over into the Spider-Verse films thanks to cameos by Maguire and Garfield in Across the Spider-Verse and links to the MCU through Donald Glover's Prowler appearance. One Gwen played by Emma Stone who is still living may emerge in the many, infinite possibilities of the universe in a way that doesn't detract from the version of the character from The Amazing Spider-Man. Similarly, there have long been rumors that Garfield's Spider-Man is the web-slinger that is active in Sony's Spider-Man universe. Given that Morbius also introduced the idea of the multiverse to Sony Pictures, Gwen, played by Emma Stone, may potentially feature in that franchise. This may reunite Garfield and Stone, with the latter portraying a new version of the character. Nevertheless, this could encounter the previously stated No Way Home issue. Emma Stone might reprise her role as Gwen in a few different ways following her death in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but there are still many people who disagree over whether she should. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.